Okay, we've been telling you all morning about uh, the news that's been broken now uh, by multiple outlets, including CP24 and CTV Toronto. In fact, the Peel region is effectively going to be unraveling. Ford Governor's going to announce that later today. Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie, certainly somebody who's been pushing for this for a while, joining us live this morning. We finally made the connection. Mayor Crombie, appreciate you being here. Uh, not sure how much you can say about what we're expecting this afternoon, but is there much more you can sort of confirm for us about this story now that uh, Mississauga is going to now separate from Peel region? So this is a very historic day for Mississauga. I'm absolutely delighted. The sun is shining. Hazel is looking down on us today and saying, congratulations, uh, we have now fulfilled her legacy. So I'm absolutely thrilled. From my understanding, legislation will be introduced in Queen's Park today. Uh, and then we look forward to working with the panel or the auditors, whatever comes forward, the devil's always in the details, uh, to fulfill this legacy and to finally, finally get fairness and equity for our taxpayers so that going forward, our tax dollars can be reinvested into our own city, into our own priorities, our programs and services, not sent to the region of Peel to pay for the growth uh, and the development and the infrastructure mm -hmm. in Brampton and Paladin. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mayor Crombie, we've heard from Brampton Mayor Patrick Brown. He's been quite vocal, uh, saying that Mississauga will owe Brampton a lot of money if the separation happens, uh, you know, saying that there are a lot of services that are based in Mississauga, not in Brampton. Uh, what's your response to this? So the region appeal was created uh, to fund the growth of Brampton. Mississauga, we had our growth phase first, and uh, we developed out. And we were paying 70% of the costs at the region appeal. Brampton paid 25% and Caledon 5%. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we have the water treatment plant. Uh, Mayor Brown has the waste disposal plant. We have the Peel Police uh, Headquarters, and he has the paramedic headquarters. So things are divided fairly equitably. But you can't deny that over the past 50 years, it's been Mississauga's development charges and our tax dollars that have gone to fund the region appeal and largely Mayor Brown's uh, infrastructure. And in addition to that, may I add, we, we provide transfer payments, transfer payments of $84 million a year to Brampton, each and every year, for their roads, their policing, and their mm. planning. Uh, so you can't deny that, you know, I, I, I would like to think Mayor Brown can stand on his own two feet, like a whole lot of other municipalities across uh, Ontario, municipalities like Barrie, Belleville, Brantford, Kingston, London, Windsor, these are all single-tier municipalities that they can get it done, and I think Mayor Brown will be able to, too. You know, we provide that transfer payment each year, and for the past four of the five years, he's frozen his ta his property taxes, and we've had responsible mm. tax increases. Okay, Mayor so that's been a little tough to swallow for mm. Mississauga taxpayers. Right. I hear what you're saying there. And, of course, you know, this is a lot of people are making the comparisons that this is sort of sounding like a bit of an ugly divorce. <laughs> and when the regions were created, so when the marriage happened, you know, in the 70s, was there any <laughs> sort of prenup? Right? Yeah. Was there any sort of prenuptial agreement kind of to speak, you know, in the event of this happened? Is there, are there any legal uh, ways out of this? Or is this going to be kind of made up as it goes along with municipal lawyers kind of going back and forth? So I'll argue that if there's any alimony payment, it will come to Mississauga, not to Brampton, for 50 years of overpayment mm -hmm. to develop their infrastructure. However, I want what's fair and equitable. That's all I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the audits coming up. I don't know if Mayor Brown is concerned about those financial audits. I am not. My books are uh, open to the auditors, and, uh, we, I, you know, I'm very proud of our finances here at the city. We are one of the strongest fiscal managers. We've been AAA credit ratings for the past. 20 years. So I'm excited. The devil is in the details and the legislation will be introduced this afternoon at Queen's Park. So fingers crossed. All I'm looking for is fairness and equity. That's all I've ever asked for. It has not been fair or equitable to mm. my taxpayers to fund the growth of Brampton uh, for the past 50 years. It's time to re invest in our own priorities and in our own mm. infrastructure. So I know that the Premier will do the right thing and whatever the outcome will be, all I ask for is fairness and equity. Mm -hmm. Mississauga, a city of 800,000 people and growing. And the mayor of Mississauga, Bonnie Crombie, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate your time.